The Warriors' elephant in the room is worrisome. While Dario Saric and Chris Paul have next to Moody, Kaminga, and GP2, giving them a top six bench, the starting five while on the floor together is a minus 23 with a brutal 131.2 defensive rating. The dub's lack of rim protection and athleticism is hindered by a stingy nine-time champ at the helm in coach Steve Kerr, currently unwilling to give the only capable center outside of Looney a legitimate chance. Now 10% through the season, it's been obvious Trace has had to be played through rookie mistakes given the conference outlook entails needing another 5 to guard the likes of AD and Jokic come the in-season tournament bracket, and of course the 2024 postseason. Prior to the bounce back dub in Detroit where TJD was a practical DNP playing less than a minute of garbage time, given Trace was a team high plus 8 in the L to Cleveland yet only played 12 minutes, then also taken in he dropped 13, 9, and 4 blocks in the only game where he got a real opportunity, it's time for Kerr to trust this kid as it's clear as day that what Davis has is exactly what this team lacks. The expended energy right now to grab a single rebound on any given possession is draining for the Warriors. Stats display that lack of board getting as well, with Golden State currently ranking down at number 25 in defensive rebounding. After a look at Steph and Chris going off in the Motor City, you'll hear more on the center rotation, keep it here. But if you're not in the 10.7% of those watching that are subscribed, join the squad by pressing the sub box and splash thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Despite concerns about their defense and lack of athleticism noted in the intro, the Warriors being 6-2, having won 5 road games already, not having to have overplayed the starters, Moody and Kaminga being more than playable rotation pieces, these are all great signs. An even better sign is Curry playing some of the best ball of his career. As you've maybe heard by now, the GOAT sniper just snapped his own all-time record set in 2017 for the most games with 4 plus triples by a player to start a season. Off-ball Spain action with Curry setting the cross for Wiggins then receiving the pin down from Looney open up the sparse territory Chef requires. Same set features another green swing and Looney pick and another tough shot off the relocation. Leak out and attack lefts followed by a finish with that offhand through Hayes, while the next fast break Stefan goes to the reverse around Marvin Bagley III for the rarely called and one. Pistol action flows from a swing to Chris to a cross screen from Saric, where a crisp square to the basket follow through over the closeout shows off his Reggie Miller-esque contested deep range shooting after moving around off ball picks. Debut in the off the dribble sauce for the night, a Jordan size up and Hezzy in and out freezes a Mude, motioning into a step back in his grill. Keeping the defense off balance with pick and roll setups to Looney and then Kaminga, after that a stop on a dime moving jab entices Killian Hayes to switch off him and assume kick to Saric in the pick and fade. Instead, it's an easy midi. More of Steve Kerr's innovative off-ball Spain action with Steph ghosting the cross then getting a Kaminga flare before drifting to the corner, drifting back his body on his jumper but elevating the release of it for the bomb and that reaction signals the most hyped we've seen Chef in years. Triple tween size up and momentum tween step back over beef stew in the clutch is succeeded with a two defender baiting takeoff and midair drop off to Loon Dog and a beastly speed blur downhill where he finishes with his left too easy. For Chris Paul, he would have his best shooting game as a warrior, knocking down three first half jumpers before starting the fourth with a triple, an and one, and a dime each to both Splash Brothers. But the play from Paul that stood out to me was when the dubs ran a split action where they invert the roles to have CP as the post disher. He's unable to find a passing option, so instead pivots around for the face up, lean back, fall away, and dagger. That was smooth as hell. CP's now second in assist to turnover ratio, only trailing Minnesota's Mike Conley. Substitution wise in the Motor City, Kerr going back to Looney at the 5 in the 4th quarter as opposed to Dre being the primary 5 for the final frame like he was in Cleveland worked out much better as a lineup of Curry, Paul, Thompson, Kaminga, and Looney overtook Detroit in the 4th before a crunch time 5 of the Splash Bros, GP, Dre, and Loon Dog closed it out. Speaking of Looney and the center rotation, concern for Golden State is Kavon having played all 82 games in two straight years, which is fun to appreciate, but because of that Iron Man run, he's provably less fresh physically than about every other player in the NBA. After Draymond said the team needed their rookies, as noted in my last Warrior video, they were immediately called back up from Santa Cruz. Both Brandon and Trace produced in the Cleveland L, but were not given time until the final minute of garbage time in Detroit. 
That was very odd, considering against the Cavalier Giants up front, Jackson Davis getting run in the early third quarter changed the entire personality of the game, providing veterans Curry, Thompson, Wiggins, and Draymond with the much-needed athletic motor and rebounding edge which their lineup requires. Pojemski held his own in crunch time minutes that included guarding Donovan Mitchell. In terms of Trace, obviously given he's a professionally inexperienced rookie, at times unfamiliar with the pace of the NBA, but at the same time, fills the Warriors' three biggest weaknesses being rim protection, rebounding, and general athleticism. From the Dubs perspective, playing Davis through defensive lapses and general first-year mishaps will be necessary in order to develop him, because you'll need as many guys as possible like Jackson who have high motors and springiness once you're forced to beat the likes of Nikola Jokic and Anthony Davis four times out of seven. So while Jackson Davis did have a couple defensive breakdowns, missed a layup as well as two free throws plus gave up an O board, it's more crucial for Kerr to have him learn from that than it is to even win a regular season game. I know Steve's making the call to try and win every game by not playing a first year guy. Of course his contract's on the line, he has everything to lose. But ironically, playing this first year player in particular would help their chances at winning now tremendously. Just by watching these games, you can tell Trace is the missing piece. They could really dominate if Steve just gave him a real shot. That said, from the perspective of Jackson Davis, the 21.11 rebound per game four-year product of Indiana must gather the mental fortitude despite his lack of NBA mileage and with a non-rookie believing head coach to be able to take advantage of every minute given. Limiting his mistakes and playing as loose as possible will be make or break. Despite having to look over his shoulder every few seconds to see if Kerr is going to sub him out, the short leash hasn't phased his production on the court or spirit off of it. I'm not going to ask you about his playing time again, but does TJD fill the Warriors' weaknesses, in your opinion? Let me know for a chance at next video. Shout out, answer compete, and community speaks. Today's shout out goes to Christian Moore, who says, What's impressed me the most about Scotty this year has been his improved jumper and playmaking. His consistency with that jumper will open up the floor for a lot of guys like Dennis and Siakam. The spacing on that team has been an issue for years, and the much improved shot will do wonders for him and his team. His playmaking and decision making, Make him a complete package. As he continues to gain experience with the ball in his hands, the game will continue to slow down for him and he'll start making teammates even better. Big jump so far between this year and last, I see All-Star in his future and as early as this year. Great take right there from Christian. Appreciate every answer. DFlow signing off.